Hey guys, welcome to the video. So it's been about a month now since DJI released the last firmware update, which actually solved a lot of the original issues with the Mini 2, such as the signal issues and the range, and that was all rectified with that latest update. So a few days ago, DJI released the latest update, which was 0.1.700. And in their own words, it states, it significantly improves a flying experience in areas of interference. So does it? Was there even a problem with that flying experience? So I've come back to the same location. The weather's really good today. There's hardly any wind. It's four miles an hour wind. So I'm gonna put this to the test to see if it can beat the last range. And what's that signal like? Do we get any dropouts? Do we get the same? Is it any better? Well, watch this video and see what you think. Hey guys, welcome to the voiceover part of this video. So I was actually really hopeful with this firmware update, thinking, can it actually get better than it actually did before? Because the performance before with the last firmware update was excellent. So I was really interested to see what range and performance we're going to get out of that signal. So I'm going to change my return to home altitudes. You'll see when you do do this firmware update, it resets pretty much a lot of your settings and schoolboy error. I didn't check all of mine, which you'll see in a minute. I don't have any ND filter on today. I just, I know it's only a gram, that ND filter, but I didn't want any excuses or anything thinking, well, that's the reason why it's not actually got that range. So this is just stock footage out of the DJI Mini to 4K and it's set at 30 frames per second. So the footage is really nice. I've got it in sports mode, just like I did before. And even in sports mode, it captures some nice footage. Me being able to zoom in at two times there and it captures really crisp footage. So it's going really well. However, if you just notice now on this screen, the signal is starting to be affected. Now it did this in the exact same area last time on the old firmware. This is a notorious spot of where there's signal interference. I've got the weak signal. So I actually had this in the same area last time. So the actual stating of it significantly improves performance. Interesting. So this is the schoolboy error. One of them settings actually resets is the max distance is also reset. So for a few seconds there, I actually had to stop and then continue again, put that to max distance. So that's a setting. It will reset it back. So be aware of that. But just keep an eye now on that battery level. We're only at two and a half thousand meters. And it's now on 67% in sports mode. It seems to be draining really fast on this new firmware update compared to before. We're flying into the wind just like before. We have really low wind conditions. So it can only be that firmware update which is causing this battery drain. It's now at just over 60% battery. That signal again is starting to drop just like it did in this area before. We're getting weak signal messages. But what's concerning is it at just over 3000 meters, we're getting to that point where you're gonna get the return to home message because the battery's too low. Battery level is low, the aircraft will go to the home point in 10 seconds. We're just over 3,000 meters, we've got that low battery warning because the battery's on 57%. But if you look back at the original video, at the same distance, that's a bit further, was at 78%. So there's a significant difference in that battery drain on this new firmware. A difference of nearly 20% battery Whoa. at the same distance. What the hell is going on? The old firmware, it just continued the drone, it carried on, whereas the new one, I've had to return home, coming back. So what's going on with this new firmware? So stick around and shortly, I'm gonna give you my thoughts on this new firmware. So, back from that, not the best. I actually don't know what DJI are doing. They released the drone, there was problems with it, with regards to the signal and the interference. Loads of people were having problems, not just on the Mini 1, but the Mini 2 from the latest update they did. This was probably two months ago now. They then released another firmware update and all, or pretty much all them issues were solved. The drone was flying really well, got decent ranges. Other people I know got good ranges, the stability, the pictures were really good. The signal interference dropped a lot, excellent. And then they released another firmware update which significantly improves the flying experience for users. And I've got in the same location, the same wind conditions, the same height, 
a thousand meters less before that battery return to home warning comes on. So has it improved the signal stability? No, I got the exact same signal interference messages in the same locations, at the same pretty much time as I did on the previous firmware. So that signal's not improved. What's got worse though is the battery. You'll see from a few weeks ago now that battery when in sports mode drains a lot. We know that because you're traveling at such a fast distance and it's going to put more pressure and strain on that battery and then battery level is going to zap. That's fair enough, fine. But I did the exact same test last time also in sports mode and I got 4,400 meters. I'll have to check the exact meter, but it was roughly about that. And this one got a thousand less, a kilometer less before the battery return to home came on. So has this firmware update now caused an even worse a battery drain issue with this drone? There was already problems with the battery. And now this new firmware update seems to have made it even worse. Could it have even been any worse with that battery drain? Look, it's not bad. That signal is still good. It's still more than good enough for the average user. And to actually be able to get that distance out of this drone, that's excellent. I'm not knocking it there. But the battery drain wasn't the best to start with. And then it got better with the last firmware update. If you want it in sports mode, that battery drain is going to drop really low. Look how fast that battery actually dropped in sports mode. So you're not going to get a lot of flight time out of sports mode, which means you're going to have to fly it in normal mode a lot. So does that then make sports mode pretty much useless apart from just having some fun? You're not going to be able to get any good distances in sports mode because that battery is just not going to last. But in my conclusion, the firmware has actually affected this. I was flying into the wind, the exact same as what I did last time. It's pretty much, I think it's actually less wind today than last time. The same location and a thousand meters less from the battery, the battery returned to home. So that firmware, 100% has affected that battery. It's still a good battery, the signal's still good, but DJI, you've released a firmware update. You did it last time and it solved all the issues. Just leave it alone. We don't need another firmware update. This has significantly made the battery worse. That's what you should actually call it in the description. So I've actually waited a few days holding off posting this because I was actually hoping DJI might release another update, a 0.701, uh, which that'll just sort out this battery drain. So a few more videos are gonna be coming up in the next few days. I'm gonna try it out again, see if that battery's any better, but no, the firmware update has affected that battery. So DJI, again, can we have another firmware update sorting out the battery drain? Thanks very much. I hope you found that useful. Look, it's still a great drone. Go and buy it. It's such a fantastic little drone. I prefer this now than any other drone. And I've got a video coming soon, which basically the new UK laws coming in January are just going to wipe out, I think, loads of other drones. It's going to cause you so many problems. So this drone is probably the best to pick up, even in the long term. But thanks for watching. If you've got the new firmware update and a Mini 2, please comment down below. Has it affected your flying performance? Has that battery got worse for you as well? I'd love to hear from you. If you liked that video, please subscribe and like this video. It helps the channel out a lot. And we'll see you the next time. See you later. Bye.